Take a look around you. What do you see? War, poverty, and crime fill our news. Do you ever feel like you want to help out? That you want to reach into the TV screen and stop all of those horrible things from happening, but you can't because you're just one face lost in the crowd? Yeah, I feel like that all the time. I decided I'm not going to be a face in the crowd anymore and I want to help out. So I asked the people on the streets what they thought the best way to change the world was. And through all of the horrid things that are going on in the world, I was shocked by the answers that I got. What can we do as the average human to change the world, to change the world, to change the world around us? Um, that's a good question. Um, 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 just always look out for other people. Think of other people first. Help other people in need. Be tolerant of other people. I'm learning where other people are coming from. Honesty. Treat people like you want to be treated. Respect. Take care of the earth. Just being accepting and welcoming of other people. Listen to what people have to say. Understanding each other. Be nice to each other. Everyone would be a lot happier. Just, I know there's a bad stereotype for homeless people on the streets, but don't don't read a book by its cover because not everybody is, is bad out there boozing or drugging or doing things like that. There are people out there who really need help. So just take a second, to maybe even just to smile or nod at somebody. Smile. 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 I think just like smiling at people every once in a while and taking the opportunity to actually like get to know people instead of just staring at strangers on the street. No one said to do anything dramatic like lowering taxes or shutting down the whole government. Maybe we don't have to focus on the bad things, but focus on the good, the kindness. So I went on a quest for kind people, and I learned a thing or two about kindness. First of all, kindness can be found in the most unexpected places from the most unexpected people. Prisoners actually started this a long time ago. I don't know how many years ago. Uh, they got people to donate yarn. They crochet hats and scarves and blankets, and then they send it out to charities. So they really get involved, and we have some great crocheters. They, they, they love to do it. Most of them do it, one, because it's relaxing, two, because they know that it's going to benefit somebody else. And a lot of them, that's their way of trying to pay back society for the harm that they have caused. They have a crocheting program out there that they needed help with, and I just started going, and I've been there ever since. I always knew my crocheting would get me in trouble, but I didn't know it would keep me in prison. When I was 15, I found out I needed a kidney transplant. I was on dialysis for four and a half years waiting for it. And then when I was 18, I was diagnosed with the cancer. I didn't really tell a lot of people about my kidney problems or anything because I didn't want them to like think of me differently or anything. So I started my first year of college at Salt Lake Community College. I met a girl in one of my classes. Um, her name was Mira. We ended up becoming like really good friends. I didn't really tell her what was going on. She'd asked me to do stuff a lot, but um, I couldn't really go boating or camping or anything like that. And so finally one day she was just like, Ryan, if you don't want to do something, then just tell me. And so I finally sat her down and I was like, okay, I really can't because I do dialysis 10 hours every night. Like, I'm not just not wanting to do something with you. So I guess she went home that night to her family at dinner and just mentioned that um, she met a girl who needs a kidney transplant in one of her classes. And so her brother, I guess, just stood up and said, I'll do it and went about it. And I had no idea. And he got tested and found out he was a match before I even had any idea that he was even getting worked up to do it. Maybe kindness is more than just giving yarn and a kidney. They're nice to me out at the prison. I don't have any problem walking up and down those halls by myself because I know those guys would never let anything happen to me. Some people are afraid to go out there, but there's nothing to be afraid of where we work. Their families won't have anything to do with them, and they cannot change and be better productive citizens without a support system and somebody to say, you know, there are people out there who care about you. The day I met him, I was so sick. Um, and so I was like in sweats and my hair was everywhere. And so he really got to see me sick and like really why he was like giving that gift. This, I'm pretty sure he like knew I was sick, but I don't know. I think he actually saw really what I was going through. And um, I remember I went to his house and I was so scared to go up to the door. Like I just did not want to go up to the door. I did not want to talk to him, but like he just opened the door and he was just so welcoming and we just sat and talked for a good couple hours just about everything and 
we're really close now, so. Kindness is a gift that keeps on giving and affects each person that it comes in contact with. If you notice when you're doing stuff for other people, you feel a lot more happy and you, you know, you, you forget about your problems because you see everybody else's problems. Well, if you follow the life of the, the yarn, it's quite interesting because first, the yarn is bought by somebody who wants to make something. They take whatever's left over, they donate it. A lot of times I don't even know where it comes from. The prisoners get it, they make it into something, and they donate at it. And then whoever gets it is usually somebody who is in need and is appreciative to get something of value given to them. So, I mean, there's a lot of people involved in that whole step that it benefits from the person who donates the yarn to the person who gets it. Since I transplant, I've I volunteer a lot for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the National Kidney Foundation, the American Cancer Society for my children. Um, because I can't like donate a kidney, I can't donate plasma, I can't donate that way. So I try and donate my time um, as much as I can to help other kids um, in the way other people help me. I guess just um, volunteer my time and be, be there for people who have gone through what I've been through that are still going through it though. And I've been there and done that, so I feel like I can help them a little bit more. So it's as simple as that, kindness. Kindness can change the world. Whether it is giving a kidney or just flashing your pearly whites, we can all change the world one act at a time. What's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for you? Ever done for me? Like dropping off a uh, batch of cookies. Definitely the kidney, the gift of life. Uh, the nicest thing anybody's done for me would be a gentleman, Dan Anderson, at the Sandy DI. Um, my husband and I are actually homeless on the streets right now, so he helped us out a lot with some camping stuff and some bikes and, and some money to help us get started, so that would have to be the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me. Just people being nice to me. Probably just give me life. My mom is pretty much the nicest person I know. Paid my way to Salt Lake when I was trying to move here. Supported. And whatever I'm doing. Give me a job. Help me get into school. Let me think about it for a minute.